All right, so you want to get a lot more coins because basically, I mean, let's be honest, you really get like, just like genuinely like 10 coins per match. Now, I've been going through like thinking a lot and there are a few ways in which you can get a bunch of coins. Like I was just about at about 5,000 coins and I played the game quite a bit, but there are ways that I could still get a ton more coins. Now, what I mean like a ton, I mean like hundreds, not like thousands. Because to be fair, like you can't just get like, oh, 10,000 coins in an hour. There's just nothing like that. If people are saying that, then I'm pretty sure they're just lying at that point. But there are definitely like tips and tricks in which you can get more coins. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So when you first load up a new account, now I've already done the missions. Well, these are just for the Battle Pass XP missions for my daily one. But you will have coin missions here. Like ones like simply just play a match, like 200 coins. You're going to do all those. You're going to get, I think it's about like a K coins. Get that out of the way. That's really going to help you right off the bat. Once you've done that, you can also take a look at this battle pass here. Uh, just for getting the tier 2. Again, this game kind of revolves around just being a little bit of grindy. But once you grind it out a little bit, you're going to get to 250 here. And then the 250 here at um, number 11. So about 500 in the battle pass. But again, you won't get this. Don't really worry about that because you're not going to get that for a while. But the number two, you can definitely get in a few batches. So after that, something cool, if you look at every single character, now again, you only have a few characters unlocked at the start, but at tier three, what we want is a toast. We want the toast, all right? All the toast you can possibly get. Also, you might as well get your um, each character up to at least level five because you're gonna get the 100 gold here and then another 100 here. Now, every time you use a toast, you're going to get 20 gold. Now, what you can do, if you know where I'm going with this, right? So every character that you're going to have unlocked, you can use a toast. You can unlock Wonder Woman. That's a free, like, extra 200 gold just for doing the tutorial. And you're going to get extra toast. So right now, I think I have, like, uh, what, 14 available toasts. So with that said, what you can do is if you're going to gain extra 30% XP plus 30% gold when you pair up with a friend, so you're either going to just try to get somebody on or if you have two consoles two pc accounts or whatever you're gonna get on with a friend you're gonna invite them then you just go inverse bots if you really just want to play grind out want to say you know get your mmr up or down however you're doing you can do that you're gonna go into a match and then you're just gonna fall off the map you're just gonna die right and then you're gonna use and all those toasts for your teammates or your friends it's gonna keep toasting you and you're gonna keep on getting coins Again, is this really an effective way? No, not really, but it is definitely a way in which you can get more, right? Because your friends, or if you're gonna make, what I'm referring back to this is when you get a toast, you can get the toast yourself, right? Because you can toast another account or you can make another account which you're gonna toast this account, which is why you're gonna have two or just have what your friend do it. And you keep toasting each other back and forth so you can both unlock um, at least another character for the time being. Now just to sum it up, what we're looking for again is you're going to get toast. You want your other account to get toast so it can toast you, you can toast your friend. So then you can all just get the extra gold. And let me tell you this, 20 doesn't seem like a lot, but it is definitely a lot in this game because it is very, I mean very hard to come by. Again, a lot of this is just kind of common knowledge, but it isn't anything like game breaking, or at least not yet. They don't really have anything. Maybe once an actual battle pass comes out, there'll be a lot more gold, or even when the game's, you know, just fully released, or even in the open beta, which has like on the 26th, I believe, then you'll be able to get a little bit more gold. But for the time being, this is kind of what we got to work with. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like button and subscribe to your new channel. Make sure to turn on those post notifications. And yeah, make sure to leave down a comment below if you've unlocked any other character or even who do you mean. Uh, I've been doing Taz, I know, I know, but I did just unlock Velma and I think I'm going to try to learn her, her moveset because I've I watched some gameplay on her and she looks really, really fun. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video. It's Clumble and I will catch you guys in the next one.